Did I ever do the daily climb? I did a little bit when it was a new thing. And I lost interest in it pretty fast. Oh, we got a big beer tonight. We have the Mocha Death from Ellensburg, Washington. Iron Horse Brewery. Brew, brew, brewery. I said, what, what? Thanks for Twitch Prime. I'm um, Bumushu to you as well. There's no ascension on the daily climb, that's correct, which generally makes it not very engaging for me. I don't know, the way that it is difficult is not a way that I care about very much. I enjoy La Femme du Monde a lot. That's one of my favorite beers. I have not tried Maudite. Any plans for Long War tonight? I just opened a beer, so anything could happen tonight. How's the Watcher integrated into the three key progression? You have to get the same three keys. All right, watch your run. Let's obtain a common relic. That's usually good, right? A meal ticket. I heal when I go to stores. Great. Belgian style beers can get heavy. That's certainly true. This bottle is quite heavy, for example. I like lose already. I don't know, am I meant to play Eruption and take two damage that turn? Maybe I am. I have 21 damage next turn? Oh my god. <sighs> Can I not play the Watcher? What if I didn't play the Watcher? What if I did something else instead, like not playing the Watcher? Great fight, how enjoyable. Flurry of Blows, Battle Hymn, or Third Eye. Is it the state swapping I don't enjoy? I did not enjoy that I just took 20 damage because I drew eruption with no strikes twice in a row. Like, what a, what an unenjoyable thing. Should we go battle him? Let's go battle him. Battle him seems like it beats up elites. Violence just get poison or lose. I guess there are three options. You can get poison, or lose, or be good at silent. Why does the Watcher have blue skin? What's that all about? We want establishment now, right? Hmm. I can't just... What? To my knowledge, blue is not a very normal color of skin for humanoids to have. 
Oh, does her skin change color depending on stats? So when she's blue skinned in the art, she's in calm. And when she's red skinned in the art, she is wrath. That would explain it. So this is a calm watcher crushing joints. Sure, we'll go with that. That's my explanation. Who's a very common skin color for humans who reside underwater? Is that true? Is that true? I didn't know that. So I can go Eruption, Miracle, Crush, Joint, Strike. That deals 18... 34... kills? Oh wait. Bowling Bash is probably good. Got a lesson learned on the fourth floor. Okay. Blue is a normal color for people who eat colloidal silver. Whoa! I would say that's like a, a blue tinged chrome. Oh, and just straight up. That's a different blue from on this card art, but that is, uh... Are there other health effects from eating silver? Could I eat silver and, like, become a person that color without it having any, like, other effects that I didn't want. Yeah. I have upgraded one strike. It's like a protect. Protect is usually pretty solid. Probably go broke pretty quick eating silver. That would be a lot of Twitch Primes. Nah, Twitch Chat's got my back, I think. You'd have my back, right? If I was like, all right, everyone has to pay me three times as much money per month now so that I can eat silver as my diet, everyone would be like, yeah, okay, that's fair. I'm pretty sure everyone will be cool with that. Whoa! Was that actually the sound of bowling balls being knocked over? Okay. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe there's something in the lore here that I'm missing. Memeism. I'm glad you could catch me. Why is Vigilance not upgraded in the draw pile? It doesn't actually upgrade until you leave the fight. I'm not sure why. It seems relatively easy to change that so that it does. I'm not sure why it doesn't. Okay. 
Meat on bone. Uh, wave of hand. Wallop. Did you know that wallop is palau? Backwards. Palau. I think palau is a better onomatopoeia, actually, for hitting something than wallop is. Wallop. Palau. Yeah. Yeah, I do think that. Let's take that wallop. I feel like after a few sips of beer, Jorbs is already drunk. I think the... I think the threshold for losing one's sanity, like you get a lot closer to it when you're interacting with Twitch chat, right? So I think, like, I require less of a push to get over over the line, I guess, when I'm streaming, maybe. out if I use Miracle this turn. That was actually a really interesting turn. There were a lot of things I could have done there. So that's sort of fun. Not a bad turn to use gamblers, bro. Hmm. Did not consider doing that. Maybe I missed missed my opportunity. to go through this fight without playing Protect. Not sure how I managed that. True lesson learned. What is this? Is that a Darkling being smushed by a book? Is this the Book of Learning? So we do have a positive book in the Spire. That's good. I'm a little bit concerned about the Spire's anti-book propaganda. Unceasing top with retain. You know it. I just assume my relics don't do anything at this point. I've played a lot of this game. <laughs> more and more I realize that it's almost certainly true. Metallicizing sentries. This should be fun. Slay the Spire Elite enemy, would I like to have a beer with the most? Gremlin leader for sure. Gremlin leader and it's not even clip.
Is it possible for my hand to suck less? Could I maybe have a hand that was good instead? Yes. I can use my potion, the Gambler's Brew. Make this desire a reality. Yep. You want to have a beer with the sentries to find out where their mouth is? I'm not sure why, but for some reason I feel confident that the beer would just be inside them suddenly. And you'd never really notice them drinking it. Did I know that Gremlin Leader was a woman? I didn't know that. That's cool. Cory did very well in this fight. This is like a very standard watcher run where we like took three cards and now we're invincible for the rest of the run. They're just very standard watcher things. At the end of your turn, if you are in calm, in five block. Great. <laughs> My metallicize brings all the block to the yard. Because my metallicize is better than yours. <laughs> Teardrop locket. Start each combat in calm. Well, that's all it does. It just starts each combat in calm. All right, incredible. I think we're done. Good store. I removed a strike. Yay. Go. Relic is very good. I believe you. Imagine, like, upgrading your cards by yourself instead of just having them upgrade automatically every time you go to a fight. Doesn't Wallop, wallop block the same in and out of Wrath? Sure. Vaguely. Sort of. In some ways. A little bit. pedestrian I follow a couple of like very very anti-car people on Twitter now I don't like to get political but uh I feel like anti-car is like I don't know it feels like a very safe place to, to express myself politically In summary, cars are lame. Wait, Wallop doesn't block properly here. We do. I forgot what I was... I, I was going somewhere with that, but I forgot where it was. Oh, how pedestrian. Yeah, so I've read all these articles about how, like, calling pedestrians pedestrians is, like, a, a terrifying thing that was done by car lobbyists in the 1920s. This is the typical, like, theme of the article. It goes on and on. The very fact that we call the place where you leave your car a car park or a parking lot, parking lot, 
is because of, because of terrible lobbyists from the car industry in the early 20th century. How pedestrian is the boomer version of our OK Boomer? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's the... That's the takeaway, yeah. Should we go evaluate? Evaluate seems sort of cool. I don't know. I think that's a fun card. Big car at it again with the propaganda. You gotta watch out for big car. Is this innate me? I like this being innate. It's going to be... Yeah. Maybe interesting being somebody who has 50,000 Twitch followers in an election year, I imagine. I can just sort of see how that could end up being very weird. Election years are stressful enough without that, but this will be the first election year coming up where I have like a bunch of other people who listen to what I say. I don't know. Not super looking forward to it. Well, that was a fight. Why are we playing Watcher? Why would anybody want to play this character? Like, what? Why would, why would anybody play this class? Let's just be civil friends. That sounds nice. I don't particularly, like, when I think about an election year as a streamer with lots of viewers, I don't think, like, oh, I have one party that's the right one and I'm going to convince everybody of it. Because I don't really... I'm an immigrant to this country and I don't really have, like... I feel like a lot of the political... Like, I don't know. There are very, like, sports team-like associations with political parties in the US and I just like don't really have them like pass legislation that makes the world better and I'll support you please but if you don't what the fuck are you doing that's my general approach to politics um it's more just that like all the election stuff is fucking stressful people yelling at each other and like it's just like, it gets so nasty. Not particularly excited to have it be a big part of my life again. Do we draw cards until our hand is full? It seems like it would be good, right? could avoid controversy by running as a presidential candidate myself. That sounds very exciting. Yeah, there is lots of retain, which makes it so maybe this only draws six cards. Big whoop. I like we'll still be all right. I'm gonna take Sneko Eye. Seems like the only possible way to lose. As an immigrant, I believe I can still be president if I am elected to the Senate and become Speaker of the House. And then we have the like, like House of Cards machinations. Machinations? Machinations? 
and uh, as long as I manage to oust the president and the vice president, my understanding is that I would then be next in line despite not having been elected. Because I believe that the only place where it says you have to be a natural born citizen... Oh, it's House of Reps, not Senate. Well, I don't think knowledge of this is important. Um, <laughs> I believe the only place that you have to be a natural born citizen is to be elected. But I think you can not be a natural born citizen and be placed in the presidency through other means. So I've got I've got my own outs here. It's interesting that some of my cards retain. Because like Runic Pyramid's really bad with Sneko Eye, right? Because all of my cards start retaining and then that's bad or whatever. Why did I do that? I'm dead now. Um Well maybe I'm fine. But here, like, only some of my cards are tame? What does that do? What does that mean? I don't know. That's why I did it. My brain's better at this game than I am. Through other means sounds conspicuous, doesn't it, though? My potential retirement plans as a Twitch streamer are... Like, once I can't make it as, like, a, a great gamer or whatever, my potential retirement plans are Bob Ross. Um, become very kind, very loving. People tune in. I, f I feel like this is a, a likely a likely approach. You know, just, like, be a, be a wholesome person that people can hang out with and have a good time. It's option number one. Option number two is to become a cult leader. I already have quite a lot of people who support me and care about what I say. If I just slowly, very carefully start to lead them down a path toward a cult and present myself as the leader of that cult, maybe they will pay me more money and come and live on a compound with me and stuff like that, and we can all be a doomsday cult together. That's number two. And then option three, definitely um, House of Cardsing it up. Like, make some connections, play my cards right, end up in power over the entire world. And those are pretty much my three retirement options, I think. I'm still, you know, I'm still testing boundaries, deciding what exactly I want to do. Looks like Twitch chat wants me to be a cult leader. That's that's good to know. Thank you for making that clear for me. It simplifies things a little bit. What is this? Damaru. Start of your turn, gain one mantra. So on turn 10, I will enter divine. Okay. Cool. Why not just do all three of those things? You have a point. You do have a point. I have to actually get into calm to benefit from like water, don't I? There we go. The amount of noise that that is making compared to how much it's doing is very odd. Feels very out of line. It's not doing very much. You would accept Doomsday Bob Ross as world leader. <laughs>
Another way to get into Calm or Wrath. Yep. That's correct. I think mostly just Calm. And then lots of high value cards. Evaluate does not seem very good with Sneko Eye. Oh wait, I drew Lesson Learned. Oh no. How do I... But this one. This one. We found it. I got there eventually. Lesson Learned has upgraded itself. It has looked upon the cards in the deck and decided that it itself is the one that deserves an upgrade. Great work, cards. You've been doing a good job. And the trophy for the MVP right now goes to... Oh! Me! Well, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Pronounce accept as accept. Well, I'm from New Zealand originally. I don't know if that's why, maybe. New Zealand. She away! Thanks for the three months. I'll go more show to YouTube. Hope you're having a lovely day. Appreciate the support. Um, does eruption lesson learned work? It does, right? Good. I upgraded the card that the upgrade doesn't do anything on. I don't think that Sneko Eye was a very good choice here. We'll see. Maybe it will be good. New Zealand. Last night, thanks for the two months. Agba Mushuri, you as well. What do Calm and Wrath stances do? The Wrath stance makes your attacks deal double damage, but you take double damage from enemy attacks. Calm stance doesn't do anything when you're in it, but when you leave it, you get two energy. I don't think I can take Fasting here because I don't have enough energy if I do, right? And the other ones aren't very good. And what's divinity? When you enter divinity, you're at, you gain three energy and your attacks deal triple damage, but you don't take extra damage. But you leave divinity at the beginning of your next turn or end of your current turn or something. So it's like a very temporary super buff. This fasting's upgrade. I, I don't know. I think it gives you one more dex and strength, maybe. Pretty sure that's what it does. Hi, Jorbs. I noticed you were playing a character. I was wondering if you could explain the things that it does. No, you can't. That's fair. All right. Thanks for being honest with me, George.
Bowling Bash costs an awful lot. Do I have three protects? Oh, I do. Alright. So I guess I do this? I guess that's okay. have mercy slavers. Did meat on the bone always flash? I think that was new. I noticed that too. I'm pretty sure that's new. Draw a lesson learned next turn. Perfect. Easy fight. Easy fight. Swivel. Gain eight block in the next attack you play costs zero. Doesn't seem that bad right now. My little cat does this thing where she's terrified of me and she won't like let me walk up to her if she's out and about or anything. But when she's asleep, it's okay to pet her. And if I let her go to like underneath a chair or as far away as possible from me that I can reach, she will sniff my hand. If I hold out my hand to her, she'll like sniff it for like exactly half a second and then lose interest in me. And that's the most adorable thing. It's very, very adorable. She did it again. I don't know what she thinks is going to happen. Does she think maybe it's like full of food because I feed her sometimes? Maybe that's why she's sniffing it. I'm not sure. The bull with Sneko is strong. Yeah, it seems like it would be strong. Battle him. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> she also very much likes sitting on top of my computer while I am streaming. But she has to jump on my desk to get on top of my computer, and she doesn't like me. So she has to like wait until I'm distracted, and then she pounces. Yeah, Zephyr's hanging out too. I'm wondering if a Miracle of Protect here or Miracle... I guess Miracle of Defend Plus blocks for all but one. That's probably fine. This full blocks. Full blocking sounds good. Is this dangerous? Yeah, I think this is probably dangerous, dangerous enough to play Lesson Learned there. Zephyr looks like a house hippo commercial right now. 
I hope you're not saying mean things about my cat. House Hippo commercial. I'm not sure if that's mean or not. It could be anything, really. So I go Swivel Crush Joints. Eruption. Smite. Flying Sleeve. Do I have to, like, do the math? Do I really have to do the math? But I went Eruption first, then Swivel, then Crush Joints. That would be 920. And then I have another... One energy? Not very much. So I probably don't want to eruption this turn. If I could go swivel crush joints, that would be fine. Then I could protect. That all seems alright. Eruption is back. Okay, this time, I... that's just... that kills it, right? We don't have to do the math. If that doesn't kill it, math is a lie. At some point, you just choose to do something because if you're wrong, life isn't worth living. And uh, in this case, we were right, so that's a relief. Math is for blockers. Math is for blockers and successful people. And fuck both of those groups of people, honestly. Alright. Judgment, just lucky, and pressure points. I don't know. Judgment might be okay. I'm out of here, though. Thwack! You were knocked. Unconscious, groggy, and with a throbbing head, you awaken to find yourself thrown in the center of a massive stadium with an overflowing audience of slavers, cultists, and other denizens of the city. See, even denizens. Billionaire villain. Denizens. Soon the denizens will serve my purpose as my robot army commands them. Den There's no word. There's no word to describe a populace that doesn't sound like you're a billionaire who's going to enslave them all. There just isn't one anymore. An armored giant with a golden crown bellows at you from atop. We now begin the four blazing. Woo! Get high every day, smoke weed every. Mm. Excuse me. I'm not sure what happened there. That was odd. That was odd. You love denizens, they have great pancakes. Do they have great pancakes? Like, Denizens is open 24 hours a day, which is nice, but I'm not sure that their pancakes are actually very good. What's the theme of this channel? We just try to do our best. I definitely go to Denny's because it is open 24 hours more often than I go to Denny's because I have any desire whatsoever to go to Denny's. In fact, I don't think I've ever gone to Denny's because I had any desire whatsoever to go to Denny's. Swivel a good card in this deck. I think it's probably pretty good with Sneko Eye, yeah. I think there's something to that. Lesson learned upgrades don't do anything. Should I just leave it at that or. <laughs> Lesson learned upgrades don't do anything until the next combat. Denny's used to be so much better. Did it really? Wow. I did not know that. Oh, my hand is suffocated with strikes. Oh, well. Just kill it. 
I wanted to like try to get the fancy proc with meat on the bone. It didn't seem like it was happening there, did it? Maybe your taste just improved. Wow. Wow. Look how they murdered my Denny's. Just trying to work this turn out and struggling a little bit. Maybe you just bowling bash smite on Gremlin Mob. Maybe do this. Maybe do this. Playing Gremlin Knob seems good, right? I think that's probably pretty good. Look what they did to my boy, specifically my boy named Denny. I wonder if anybody has used my channel to learn English. Maybe, yeah? Maybe. You have unused my... You have used my channel to unlearn English. Oh. Unlucky. So this floor gave me two upgrades and two relics. Is that correct? Is that what this floor did? I think that's what this floor did. The relics are Mango and Frozen Egg. This is an upgraded mental fortress now. Still don't really want it. Cranky Old Gnome. Thanks for the five months on Bomushu to you as well. You're amazed that Paj stuck. Jorb's Paj Champ. What a beautiful emote. You know that I had to... Well, I didn't have to. I chose to go to a professional organization which makes emotes professionally. And I chose to present them with a prototype Paj Champ. And I chose to tell them, Hey, this is Pog Champ except whatever the fuck that is and I feel like a professional artist could maybe you know do a good job of making it stand out and, and look good and then a professional artist actually spent time making that emote for you all and this is the kicker for me personally they sent me back a zip file with the Paj Champ emote and the Paj emote both inside it. And they named it Poi. Which means they've been fucking lurking in my channel. Because they know that the text to speech pronounces Paj as Poi. The professional artists were here all along. The it goes all the way down. It goes, like, all the way down. Terrifying. Oh. End of Greed is interesting. I think we do take membership card. And we do take this, and we do take this. What is at the bottom? Like uh, some sort of Cthulhu-esque uh, creature. We will all die when we reach the bottom. It's just how, how things work. I regret to inform you that the end of this is death. 
I would like to thank you all for being with me on this occasion. Terrible casserole. <laughs> That's a wonderful username. It's a wonderful username. I thought immediately of my mother, but... <laughs> A lot of her casseroles were very good, though. And I mean, she was, like, raising three kids and holding down a job. I'm not, like... I'm just saying I thought immediately of my mother, that's all, because I, I think that's funny. Um, I'm sitting here laughing. I'm, I'm sure she would laugh, too. Maybe that is my mother? That'd be cool. My mother was, uh, watching my Twitch show. My mother... My mother, like, had to put up with so much shit in making food for us. Myself and both of my siblings went through a variety of like different phases of being picky eaters. I'm not a very picky eater now, but there was a time in my life where I like really, really was. And both of my siblings have had like versions of that too. And so there were like nights where my mother would make like three different dinners because like her ungrateful and needy children required very specific food or else they would starve to death. And I th I think about that a decent amount, how much work my mother did. But yeah, sometimes her casseroles were not great. Yeah. <laughs> when you were a kid, you used to fill the VCR with french fries which you refused to eat. My mother is MVP, but also damn y'all spoiled as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I also got to grow up living next door to my grandparents, which was fucking incredible. It was like, it creates a sort of, a so sort of spoiling bidding war between the grandparents and the parents when that happens, where like the grandparents will not sinisterly in any way, but they will, like, buy treats for their grandkids or presents for their grandkids because they love them and they're retired and have money, so, like, they can. And then the parents are left being like, oh, well, now the kids like the grandparents the most. We have to give the kids treats, too. Boom. Boom. And you end up in this bidding war where it's like, no, Jorb, spend time with me. I will take you to the zoo. Jorbs, no, the zoo is lame. I will buy you a video game. It's all been downhill since then. It's all been downhill since then. Yeah, that is if your grandparents love their grandkids. I, I have been... One place that I have been incredibly lucky in life is definitely my family. I have a really good family. Hey, Zephyr. The most amazing part of this story is that my grandparents call me Jorbs. What else would they call me? games are terrible. I will buy you the zoo. <laughs> I'm very thankful for the bullshit from me the people who were trying to raise me put up with. There were times when I was a dumb, ungrateful kid. And, uh, yeah. 
That's the truth. Wait, it's not... It's not Automaton. The Dolphin Chemist himself has graced our stream. The Dolphin Chemist himself. Wizards assemble. Wizards. Wait, Streamlabs doesn't see that you're here. Wait, what? Streamlabs. Wizards assemble! We must defend the channel from the Dolphin Chemist viewers. There it is. There they go. There they are. There they are assembling. Assemble, wizards! Dolphin Chemist is now hosting my stream! With 608 viewers. I love how the fire wizard has to stamp out the fire when he appears in the fireball. It's a very, um... It's not actually a very good mode of transit. Fireball. Dolphin invaders. They're everywhere. They surround us. Bob, thanks for the three months, by the way. I'm sure to you as well. If any of you don't know Dolphin Chemist, the Dolphin Chemist, he is an incredible variety streamer who streams all sorts of incredible games. FTL, Retropolis, Slay the Spire. Basically, if a game is good, there's a good chance that Dolphin Chemist has played it and played it well. And you can find him on twitch.tv slash dolphin chemist. Close your eyes and spend five or six seconds memorizing this URL. Twitch.tv slash dolphin chemist. Twitch.tv slash dolphin chemist. I have spent long enough memorizing that URL that I actually, it comes up in my pin numbers and my internet passwords and everything. Cause it's just the thing that I remember, right? Dolphin chemist. I shouldn't have told you what my passwords were. That's okay, though. Um, Dolphin Chemist is a wonderful person with a wonderful channel, and I highly re recommend that you check it out. And I don't actually... My passwords aren't actually... I mean... Most of my passwords aren't actually Dolphin Chemist, so... It's mostly safe. My personal identification number number, yeah. It's weird that you say number twice for that, isn't it? Anyway, if you're just here from Dolphin Stream, I'm Jorbs. It's, uh, I think Friday night somewhere in the world, so I'm having a, a little brewski here and playing some Slay the Spire. I definitely would never use Dolphin Chemist as a password. Ha 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 ha. Yep. Yep. Me too. We're playing a Watcher Run with Snekoi and a bunch of Retain, and it's like halfway to having a Runic Pyramid plus Snekoi. It's pretty awkward. Your four digit bank pin code is Dolphin Chemist. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. In this day and age, why wouldn't it be? Honestly, imagine it not being Dolphin Chemist. Do you think banking and other financial institutions like flag accounts that don't use Dolphin Chemist for their password is like suspicious? Probably. I would. Well, this hurts. Am I dead? <laughs> that doesn't seem very good. 93, huh? Alright, well... 
Let me tell you what I think about that. I think I full block it. Huh. I did not full block that. Almost then. I'm in divinity. Interesting. <laughs> You're just straight up dead. You're just straight up dead. My relic killed you. Where's lesson learned? We need lesson learned again. Oh, but now I'm not in calm problems. Problems IRL right now. Defend swivel is 21. Block. I'd take 17, go to 2. Okay. I have upgraded my defend. Thank you, collector. See you next time. Is that Ironclad? Did we just agree that Ironclad had green skin? Who is this? It's pretty rad. I think it's the merchant. I am going to take devotion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jerbs, why don't you do the lame thing that's obviously the best option? Well, I don't know, Twitch chat. Maybe I wanted to have fun. Maybe I wanted to express myself through the video game and do things that were creative and different. I suspect that, um, Coffee Dripper is probably fine here. Fine or thereabouts. Nothing is cooler than divinity. Hmm, is that true? Maybe that's true. I will add exactly one colorless card. Oh, it's Apotheosis. Wait, every card's upgraded already. Hmm, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Good floor. Great floor. Good chat. What are our thoughts on one fasting? What are our thoughts on wallop? Maybe wallop is good. If I added apotheosis, I could have upgraded it. That's true. Yeah, I didn't want to upgrade it just because it would have been my only unupgraded card. But I, it's right that I could have maybe upgraded it anyway. Enter Divinity Stance? Are you fucking serious? That's just a potion? <laughs> that can't possibly be allowed. There's no possible way that that's okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> It's 108 gold. I have a membership card. Hi, it's me. The guy from Bowling League. It's 
wanted to say I uh, thought you did great last week. Really feel like we've got a shot at winning the title. You know I've never been in the bowling league. And I feel like that's a lot of what's wrong with my life. Your computer broke in your board. What should you do? Have you considered... Uh, Voldemort, I guess? I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Board games, maybe? Outside? No, not outside. Just turn it off and on again. There you go. That's more reasonable. It's 15 and snowy outside. A swarm then. thing where the fires happen is pretty cool. I describe that as fairly sweet. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm done. GG. Good fight. Good game. Minus eight degrees Celsius and half a foot of snow. Imagine living in a country that had winter when you could just not live in a country that had winter instead. Honestly, what are you even thinking? It's nobody's fault but your own. Oh, lesson learned isn't here. I thought lesson learned was in my discard pile. Oops. How did I not draw it? Also, whoops. Good. Perseverance. Is perseverance any good here? Probably not, right? I have a bunch of protects. Protect pluses, actually. Seem like better cards. Upgrades at campfires. I should probably stop going to campfires. I think that's probably the correct answer to that problem. It feels like zero degrees Fahrenheit right now. Sorry to hear that. I'm like actually not equipped as a human being to understand what that means. But I nonetheless feel like that's probably shit and want to want to say that I do feel like that's probably pretty shit. I think the coldest... I don't think I've ever been anywhere where it was below 20 degrees Fahrenheit at the same time as me being there in my entire life. Soon the polar vortexes will slam the Pacific Northwest. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. I 
I think Seattle is going to struggle a lot with like, I don't know, if we get a week of snow that doesn't melt, I think we just die as a city. That's just it for us. GG. Last February that happened and everybody did die. Yeah. <laughs> you witnessed a car sliding down a hill it was clearly trying to climb up last winter. My mother, uh... <laughs> My parents' house is, um... It's on a hill, but it's like near the bottom of the hill. So it's like a flat road and then a fairly steep gradient for like about 50 feet and then it like levels off and there's our driveway and then it keeps on going up and my mother managed to spin her car three times like full 360 degree spins getting out of her driveway and trying to get down to the flat part of the road below but she got down to the flat part below, god damn it, and then she kept driving. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Seattle Seattle doesn't do great with snow. A lot of hills, a lot of people who are not prepared for snow. Over Rose, thanks very much for that tier 2 sub for 7 months. Agba Mushu to you as well. Appreciate the support. Have I ever killed the heart with lesson learned? I don't think so. I'm just wondering if I take worship here or not. Probably I do, right? Seems like it's probably good with the other stuff that's going on. I have no idea what these attacks cost. There's no possible way that I could know. Sort of interesting. All right, sure. Can we remove eruption now? Probably. Seems like we would be able to. I should have played it before I entered comms dance, huh? I want smites for next turn, sort of. Eh. All this good. I don't think Watcher is that bad. My problem with Watcher is I don't think I've like taken damage for the last two acts, and there's a decent chance I will lose the run. And I just don't think that's very fun. If you're gonna give me a broken run, then. I would prefer it to be broken enough that, like, it actually wins instead of me just being bored for two acts and then dying. Yeah, there's a problem with having such high base damage. Having such high base damage means that you like beat Act 2 fights really, really, really easily, but to beat a fight where an enemy has 80 HP in the same way that you have to beat a fight where the enemy has 800 HP, it's really weird. There's a fight where the enemy has 800 HP, like, you don't necessarily win that one.
But if you're anywhere near close to being able to beat a fight where the enemy has 800 HP with the same strategy that you win fights where the enemy has 80 HP, the fights where the enemy has 80 HP are like not a thing. They're just not relevant. You think Blasphemy would increase my enjoyment of this character? It's possible. We got rid of Lesson Learned now that every card in our deck is upgraded? Probably. Probably worse than a... Well, it's better than a Strike, but it's worse than a Strike plus 10 max HP or whatever. Thirteen is the number you're gonna deal, huh? This is the number that you choose? That's unfortunate. Seven twice. That's also not enough. I'm sort of close to being able to bowling bash this to death. Bowling Bash deals 80 by itself. And then I need 64 more. So there's 11 plus 19. There's 30. There's 50. 69, nice. But I can't play all of those cards, right? I'm slightly not having enough energy. I need to go to the bathroom. Grab back. <laughs> and then I will uh, do the math on this properly. The cat has vomited on my jeans. You're a crypt viewer, Lux the God. Why are you a crypt viewer when I'm just a strictly better crip? So, 11. I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. Is that enough? 
11. It's 80, right? 91. 101. 120. It's not enough. That's rude. Do I have to use the potion? Am I okay next turn? How much health do I have? 92. And I have to rest at the campfire? Probably not meant to use the potion. Eve drinking expensive craft beer. That's me. Jorbs, the expensive craft beer guy. very confused. Why did these people who at every moment tried to destroy me and end my life want to feed me right now? She thinks to herself. Didn't even take damage, yeah. Didn't even take damage. Fight. Whenever you gain block this turn, apply two weak to all enemies. I would like to be able to weaken my enemies. Oh, that's a good point. I can't rest at all because I have Coffee Dripper. So the campfire is actually not going to do anything then sort of interesting. I still have one card to upgrade. Oh, I guess this needs upgrading. Sure. I have exactly one card to upgrade, maybe. Sure that this fight will give us shovel and then we will dig. We will delve deep inside the earth, deeper than perhaps we should. What is a relic to the right of Snekoi? This is Damaru. At the start of our turn, we gain one mantra. do that. Hutcher is coming alive with all the sounds and arts makes you happy. I think the balancing is like really super not there, but the art and everything is much improved for sure. And that does make the character a lot more fun to play.
What's wrong with the balance? Too good at hallway fights and elites, not good enough at boss fights, basically. Just like our strategy is too strong at killing the fights that aren't boss fights and not strong enough at killing boss fights. I did them in the wrong order. Well. You, it looks like Jorbs is drinking wine out of the bottle. That's not an unreasonable guess at any moment. Boss Knight, thanks for the 100 bits. See you next time. Have a good night. Just died during what would have been your first Ascension 20 heart kill. Heart had 1 HP. I'm sorry. I can imagine that that could be perhaps a little bit frustrating. To have come so close to glory and yet to ultimately have fallen short. Establishment would be really good here. Yeah, I think establishment would be excellent here. Is Jars better than Dolphin Chemist? Dolphin, I believe... I don't want to put words in Dolphin's mouth, but I believe Dolphin Chemist described the Watcher as feeling a lot like doing his taxes. And I thought, the reason I bring it up at all is that I personally thought that was like a very succinct way of describing what it felt like to play Watcher, and one that I could relate to a, like incredibly large amount. So, yeah. Fucking love dolphin. It was entirely your fault. You remember playing one shiv before a vulnerable potion. If you had played them in the other order, you would have won. Oof. Does that you think that makes it, like, better because you know that you could have won, or worse because you know, well, that you could have won? Is there anyone I think is better at Spire than me? There's a woman who lives in the mountains. remote mountains in a country that I feel like I shouldn't name just for her privacy. She's never lost a run of Slay the Spire. When you watch her play, it's like it's like watching a dancer, but a dancer of death. She's incredible. She's definitely better than me. Everybody else sucks though. Er than me than everybody else, yeah, for sure. Hey, personal Matthew, how you doing? Well, like, I think Baylor Lord is very good at the Spire, but Baylor Lord doesn't play the same Spire as me, right? Baylor Lord does, like, speed runs to Ascension 20 and Ascension 15 win streaks and stuff. It's a different thing. 
There are a number of people who are quite good at this game. This is a more serious answer. You've also never lost a round of Slay the Spire. Fair enough, Silver Rose. We'll count that, we'll count that. One, two, three, four, five. It's a very awkward number of cards to have in hand. I could play Protect. No, I want Protect for next turn. I actually end my turn. Which Slay the Spire boss do I feel the most empathy for? I try to feel empathy for all living creatures. I feel like, in general, that makes my life feel better to try to to try to care about all others. Sometimes, 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 eh, sometimes people do things where it's like, wow, I just don't really want anything to do with you. That can be awkward. But in general, I think a lot of people are mostly good. Maybe at worst, they're misguided. Sorry, was that the answer? <laughs> Sorry, was I meant to be memeing? Um, I like donuts because they taste good. Was that better? I think I might have gotten distracted by trying to make a meaningful answer there accidentally. Let's play this so I don't have it anymore. You know what the greatest thing about donuts is? Think about how easy it would be to add the deliciousness of donut to the middle of the donut as well. And yet, this is not a thing that is done. That is ultimately the greatest thing about donut. The fact that donut could make the world such a better place, but chooses not to, as a matter of like, presumably principle or something like that. You're s it's so confusing watching this character for the first time when I'm using Snekoi, you have no idea how to tell what cards are good. My experience with the Watcher is like, they're all good and then you die to the heart. What are my experiences opinions about doing my taxes? Can we talk about how TurboTax is fucking bullshit for a second? It is so much harder to do taxes than it needs to be in the U.S. I think that's the end of my spiel. I think that's all I had to say. Fasting might be good for the... Yeah, I think fasting is good now. The reason that I think fasting is good now is that we're going divine fairly regularly. Aren't taxes just done automatically for you in some countries? Yes, in some countries. But not in all countries. Dab on him. Dab! Let's also do this. Alright, cool. So we have plus four dexterity and plus four strength. But minus one energy per turn. How will we survive? Survive. 
like that, I guess. All right, cool. Good chat. Can get rid of the block on this enemy. Then we could gain some uh, block with wallop. Cool. One of the most important things about being apolitical as a streamer, I feel, is that any like improvement to the world that I might be able to make, well, I think a lot of the improvements to the world that I might be able to make are by like appealing to someone who is ignorant about something, but becomes an audience member because they're interested in the video game that I'm playing. So they might not know something about... Mm, rights for some people who don't have rights for whatever reason, because the world is bullshit. And then they're just chilling out, playing Slay the Spire, and they come into a community which is inclusive and loving, and we care about people. And they hang out with people here, and they're like, oh, oh wow, yeah, like, that thing is actually pretty important. I see now that I'm hanging out with all of these people who are influ influenced by it and affected by it. And because of that, I think it's pretty important for me not to be, like, overtly... Like in your face political, because I don't want to. I don't want to add like a barrier to entry to watching my stream. I want anybody to be able to come in and just hang out. But maybe not many billionaires are gonna come in here anyway, so maybe it's okay to just say that like yeah, maybe hoarding billions of dollars and not paying your workers well and um, not paying taxes properly and making the entire world fucked so that you can be rich is not a great idea. Maybe I can just overtly say that. Maybe, there, maybe there isn't much downside <laughs> to me saying that. Um, yeah, you can type one if you're a billionaire. Actually, go ahead and just donate a million dollars um, to the channel. If you're a billionaire, I would appreciate that. Maxim Kato, thanks for the three months. Agbo Musho to you as well. Now I'll never get one of those viewers who donates hundreds of gift subs per week. I don't think they are billionaires. I think the, uh, like, being a billionaire is, like, something different from that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Good chap. I were a billionaire, I would keep all of my money and invest in a private island with a fortress. And some of you would be invited, but not all of you. 
Unfortunately, there wouldn't be enough room for everyone, and so I'd have to make some hard decisions about who could uh, who could live on my private island and who couldn't. Subs only? I mean, we'll think about it. Let's use this thing. Maybe I shouldn't use this while I'm, like, vulnerable and frail and stuff, but fuck it, let's use it. Who's gonna stop me? You manage a greenhouse for a living. Oh, you've got skills. All right, yes. If I become a billionaire and get a private island, you can be in charge of the crops. That's fine. I will pay you suspiciously less than you're actually worth. Um, but we'll try not to talk about it too much and I'll, uh, if you ever press me on it, I'll be like, well, that's all I can afford right now. Wave of the hand first, I think. It's very expensive. We can weaken this turn through the artifact charges. Seems good. Wait, I'm in Divinity again? What is this nonsense? This is OP. We do have a Tori, it's true. again next turn. Seems pretty good. I mean, we might die. But that's just how it works sometimes. Sometimes you die. 6 times 15. Can't weaken you. Alright, I mean, that's fine. This blocks for 58? <laughs> what a fucking character. What a class. What a reasonable thing I have just watched happen. All right.
Is this a high YouTube run? You know, it might be. Thanks, Spoink. You remember when we struggled with the bird cultist? Yeah, we struggled with the bird cultist and then we put two cards in our deck and then we didn't take damage for the rest of the run. 